In the Rolling Stone interview, Kathleen Kennedy said this about Star Wars. Quote, Every one of these films is a particularly hard nut to crack. There's no source material. We don't have comic books. We don't have 800-page novels. We don't have anything other than passionate storytellers who get together and talk about what the next iteration might be. Kathleen Kennedy, you really want me to hate you. I can feel it. You're like a splinter in my mind, driving me mad. You've managed to do the impossible. You ruined Star Wars. You ruined it so much Disney is done making Star Wars movies, at least for now. You've managed to turn some of the most loyal fans into absolute haters of the franchise. You ruined Mark Hamill's legacy and then paraded the man around to promote one film he wasn't even in, and another that pissed all over his character. And he still got nothing positive to say about any of these movies. You even got George Lucas not to like it. Do you realize how hard that is to do? The man created Star Wars, it's his baby, and you made him just hate The Force Awakens. Four years. Four years. You've been putting movies out for four years and you've already ruined it. And to prove you have no idea what you're doing with this franchise, you said this, quote, every one of these movies is a particularly hard nut to crack. There's no source material. In the words of Christian Bale, no, no. Are you fucking kidding me? No source material. So you don't have those outlines George Lucas gave to you that Bob Iger mentioned in his memoir. You don't have any of the notes or the concept art locked up in the Lucasfilm vault. You don't have multi-season animated shows to draw from. You don't have access to any of the games to use. Just nothing. We don't have comic books. What the fuck is it with you? Marvel published Star Wars comics from 77 to 86. Dark Horse published comics from 91 to 2014 when Disney pulled the license from them. Dark Empire, Knights of the Old Republic, Shadows of the Empire, Dawn of the Jedi, Star Wars Tales, Star Wars Republic, Star Wars Empire. There are thousands of comics to choose from, written and drawn by hundreds of people. Fantastic stories. Just a well of material people would love to see on screen. And you don't know anything about that? We don't have 800 page novels. What don't you fucking understand? <sighs> She's right, of course. There are no 800-page Star Wars novels. There's just dozens upon dozens of 400-page novels to choose from. Look at this shit. Look at it. Pull your fucking car over and look at the screen. Star Wars novels. Trilogy after fucking trilogy. Just glorious novels. The Jedi Search trilogy. Both Thrawn series. The Darth Bane series. Legacy of the Force, New Jedi Order, books like Shadow of the Empire, I, Jedi, Rogue Planet. You've got so much material, you can never make all of these into movies. You couldn't even do it if you animated the damn things, but you just didn't know about any of these books. None of them. Nobody working on any of these films, the thousands of people you've employed, not one knew anything about the expanded universe. We don't have anything other than passionate storytellers who get together and talk about what the next iteration might be. Oh, good for you! We go through a really normal development process that everyone else does. You start talking to filmmakers who you think exhibit the sensibilities that you're looking for, and I would argue that that list is very small. People who really do have the sensibilities about these kinds of movies, and then the experience and ability to handle how enormous a job these movies are. So we try to be as thoughtful as we possibly can about making these choices. And how was it? I hope it was fucking good because it's useless now, isn't it? This is your excuse for fucking up Star Wars. You pick people with the quote, sensibilities about these kinds of movies, who quite thoroughly don't seem to have a fucking clue about the franchise. To have gotten it this wrong three out of four times is amazing. I mean, that doesn't happen on accident. You don't just get it wrong that many times without it being intentional, which Kathleen Kennedy admits. When asked about the shit show known as The Last Jedi, 
and whether they deliberately set out to, quote, challenge fans and their expectations, Kennedy said, quote, we're talking all the time about how we move Star Wars forward and how to keep it relevant. Oh, da -da -da -da. Obviously, we don't want to just keep making the same movie over and over again. So I agree with you. I mean, I love what Ryan did. It's an absolutely wonderful movie. You're unbelievable, man. You're unfucking believable Did you watch the fucking movie? A third of the film has nothing to do with the plot. You could just cut Finn and Rose Tico out and it wouldn't change a thing. You got Luke hiding on the planet because he tried to Jedi mind rape his nephew because he had a bad dream. You got this desert skank who's had the force for 20 seconds doing fuck all the whole movie. You bring Leia back to life for no reason when we all know Carrie Fisher died and can't return for the next film. You kill off the main villain without ever explaining anything about him or his motives or why he brought back the Empire with a new name and is apparently the only alien allowed to be in it. You ruined Luke Skywalker to the point Mark Hamill trashed it in the media for all of 2018. There is no way this is quote, an absolutely wonderful movie. None. It looks nice, I'll give you that. The music is okay, but the story, you know, the actual reason you're in the fucking theater, sucks. And then she goes on to compare The Last Jedi to The Empire Strikes Back, saying that it was the darkest and most dramatic and that this is what they tried to do here. Well, you failed in spectacular fashion. Then she says, quote, I love that we have these amazingly passionate fans who care so much. And I know sometimes they think we don't listen, but we do. And I thought it was fantastic that people got that engaged. It just showed me and everyone else how much they care. And that's important for all of us that are doing this. We really look at them as the custodians of this story as much as we are. We look at it as kind of a partnership. Seriously, man, you and me, we're fucking done professionally. You didn't listen to a fucking thing fan said. And we know this because Riri Johnson flipped the fuck out over the negative reaction. And he's still doing it, still trashing fans who didn't like this film two years later. But there's a contradiction here. How are you listening to fans while you're challenging them and their expectations? I say to you, I want to see the original Star Wars cast in one last trilogy. Let's finish off their story and then pass the torch. You say, I heard you. So here's an overpowered Mary Sue who has fuck all to do with the original cast, an actually interesting black character who we're going to make the comic relief and then forget about, Juan Soyo. Oh, and the original cast will never be on screen together at all. They won't even talk to each other. In fact, after Han dies, Leia will ignore Chewbacca to hug a girl she doesn't even know. And when people complained about this, you turned Luke Skywalker into a coward and then killed him off. You even wrote into the script, let the past die, kill it if you have to. So what do you expect fans to think? It seems like you hate them and everything that they love about Star Wars and have set out to deliberately destroy it in order to create your new The Force is Female shit show, which is now doing so poorly, y'all don't even want to make movies anymore. I mean, in the words of Christian Bale. Fuck's sake, man, you're amateur. But what do I know? I'm just some guy.